What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. You probably clicked on this video because one, you are a subscriber. And again, thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I truly can't express my gratitude for all the likes, the engagement, sharing my videos, and giving me all the positive feedback. Thank you guys so much. Um, number two, you probably clicked on this video because you read the title, and yes, it is not clickbait by any sort. As of right now, I am looking at buying one of my dream cars. I have three dream cars that I want to achieve or want to purchase at some point in my life. Either one of them, two of them, or all three of them. Those consist of a Subaru GC8. I just, something about them, the coupe, I just have such a soft spot and I just love them so much. Um, Nissan Skyline R32 GTR, which I can't emphasize enough, is one of my favorite cars in the market right now. And a Nissan Skyline R32 four-door. So one of those three cars I am looking at purchasing from RHC Specialties. I just want to give a huge shout out to Carlos from RHC Specialties and Nick. You guys have been super supportive, very knowledgeable, and thank you so much for helping me guide me through my decision. I guess this is a big investment as well as a risk buying a car that I can't see physically and or feel. I'm just going off pictures what the sales representatives are telling me and a description so it's a huge risk but i do trust them um but yes right now just going through this process seeing how much money i am willing and i am wanting to spend i am currently planning my next year 2020 out right now um as you all know, I bought a house, so I want to be very financially supported by that. I don't want, I'd rather lose a car than a house. Prelude still is my project car, which will be going down after this purchase, because I still want something cool to drive around, and I want to prep my next year for a, pro for a new project, because YouTube is something I do want to pursue as an entertainer. And again, thank you all so much for your love and support and your feedback. So I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision financially because I don't want to have too much on my plate and then struggle on the house payment or my bills and or insurance. But a lot is happening. I didn't expect this to happen so quick. But one of the cars I'm looking at, Carlos is giving me such a killer deal. Like I honestly cannot turn this deal down. But I did tell myself two years ago and the beginning of this year that I will be buying my project car no matter what it takes. I've been grinding, working so hard on all four of my jobs and it's been nothing but beneficial. And thank you everybody again who support my detailing business and who have bought merch. I am sold out now, but currently in the process also of doing a drop the beginning of next year. So hopefully I have time to support that as well. Like this video was kind of unplanned um, I'm just kind of documenting the process at the moment. Today is November 11th, it is a Monday. Yeah, and I just, everything's just happening by ear right now. I just want to document each process and then see where it takes me. I don't know when this video will go up, probably like a week from now or maybe even two weeks. Not quite sure, but through the process of buying my dream car, I'm just going to be updating this vlog so it might be like a day apart or two days apart throughout each clip but I will definitely let you guys know. And again, if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. We have a lot of content coming, but that is um, just some stuff I want to update you guys with. This might be a very long video and I would appreciate if you guys watched um, all of it. So I will keep you guys updated on the next part of this process. It is the next day, everybody. It is Tuesday, 11, 12. 2019 i just got off work just got done with the bank and i just secured one of my dream cars oh my god this is so unreal i spent more on my dream car than i did for the down payment for um, my house for my mortgage this is this is crazy guys oh my god so the the money will RSG specialties will receive the money tomorrow morning because i missed the wire transfer deadline so they get that money tomorrow and then once they receive the money to their bank account they'll ship me down the title and then carlos from RSG specialties told me that they'll begin 
they'll be doing another once over for the car, making sure everything is roadworthy for me and hire a contractor. And then within the next three to five days, probably sometime next week, I will be taking delivery of my dream car, which I'm so stoked. This is unreal. Like it hasn't actually, it's hitting me more than me buying a house. This is crazy. Just want to say thank you everybody so much for supporting my dreams, supporting the channel, supporting the brand, supporting my detailing business, showing all the moral support. I couldn't have done this without you guys. And thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. So I will keep you guys updated on when the car ships. And then after that, I will keep you updated when I am taking delivery of the car. What's going on everybody? It is the next day, November 13th, Wednesday, 2019. Just got off the phone with Carlos. They will be receiving my wire transfer funds tomorrow, but Nick, the general manager, has already went ahead and shipped out the title to me. And right now they are working with the contractor to ship the car down from Washington to Tucson, Arizona. And I couldn't be more stoked. Thank you so much again, Carlos and Nick for being super supportive, super knowledgeable and working with me making this process a breeze. Another benefit is that the title is a transferable title from Washington. So I can just easily register the car in my name and hopefully skip the level two inspection. That saves me time and money and all the hassle. So when I get the car, all I'll have to do is emissions test the vehicle and register it in my name and we are good to go. Incredibly stoked, super, super eager to get this car in my garage. You don't even know. And I had to record this clip five times now because I've accidentally said the name of the car that I was getting and I don't want to do that just yet until I do some cool cinematics when I get the car, which I don't know how many clips it's going to be till we get to that point, but you will know. I'll build the hype. You already know what it is. But again, super eager to get this car in my garage. I already went ahead and cleared up a bunch of space in my garage, organized the side, organized all the shelves. Just left some extra space because when I get the car, Prelude is going down and I have plenty of space on the left and right side to work with as well as my engine stand. And when I get the car, I have plenty of space to do my business detailing work. The family's calling. But yes, I have plenty of room, or I will have plenty of room to work in when I do my detailing side business. So again, if any of you are local, I need to re-up on some funds I just dropped. Hit me up for all of your car automotive detailing needs. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else that I need to update you guys on with. I believe the next update I will get is when I receive the title and or when Carlos tells me that the car has shipped I'm sure I'll get some form of like tracking if I can like track the car or track the driver. I'm sure there's like an app where I'll probably get the information of the truck driver and tell him what's up. Might even tip him too. We'll go ahead and see. But other than that guys, I will catch you with the next update. What's good everybody? It is November 20th, 2019. I am smiling ear to ear because my car has officially shipped out of Washington. Stefan from RC Specialties just sent me a bunch of pictures of them loading up the car. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. This is insane. Now, my excitement just built right back up. Holy crap. I cannot wait. I'm at a loss for words right now, guys. My apologies. I mentioned this, I think, like 100 times already. But from Washington to Arizona is about a three to five day trip, including stops, traffic, weather conditions, you know, all that good stuff. So probably be getting this car next, mid next week, which I believe should be Wednesday or Thursday. Crossing my fingers. Oh, I'm so stoked. Oh my God. Finally, finally. They had a truck, um, actually, three days ago, but when it came, the truck broke down, unfortunately. But good thing my car wasn't on it, but the driver is safe. And then again now, I'm literally looking at pictures of my car being loaded up, driving off. <gasps> Incredibly stoked, thank you everybody. 
so much for just the support. I can't believe this is actually happening. And then some other updates. I did start ordering parts for the car. Ordered a We Are Likewise ship knob, which just passed through customs here in Arizona or in the United States. Ordered a Broadway mirror, 300 millimeter convex, which is a great first mod to do. And that's all I have right now until I registered the car get the title, pass the mission, pay the vehicle sales tax, which hopefully isn't an arm and a leg. That's when I will either be doing my first engine mod, because the engine on the car is completely stock, but it's in great shape with super low miles. So I'm thinking downpipe cat back, maybe some suspension mods like camber and tow arms or some strut bars. Not too sure that's going to be planned in the future after I pass emissions and all the good stuff. Oh my God, guys, so stoked. All right, but um, until then, I'll catch you with the next update. What's good, everybody? It is the next day, November 21st, 2019. Just got um, an email from Nick again saying, well, as you all know from the last clip, the vehicle ship out of Washington, and I just got an ETA so the car will be here this saturday so the 23rd and i am off of work whoo super super stoked i cannot wait my i uh, just uh, i'm so eager to get this car it's been a little over a week now finally happening so saturday i pick up the car or the car will be delivered here and then we can do the big reveal but honestly it's not really going to be a big reveal because RC Specialties posted the car I bought their Instagram saying, congratulations Hank, another beautiful coming to Arizona. Hope you enjoy your, and like almost all of my followers, I won't say almost all of them, but um, a good amount of my followers on Instagram saw the car because they follow RC Specialties and said, yo, big reveal. I was like, ah. Oh, crap big reveal so by the time this video comes out um you already know the car i bought but thank you guys for making it up to this point of the video i really appreciate it so when the car comes saturday i'll just vlog my excitement vlog the car and then in a in separate other videos i'll go over um i'm gonna do a q and yeah i'm gonna do like a q and a on my instagram how about just questions you got you guys want to know about the um, importing process but throughout this video you probably already know or have a good idea about what the importing process is why i chose this car my plans for the car and my plans for next year so i'll probably hit you guys up on the 23rd saturday be prepared What's well, good everybody? Coming back with another update. It is November 22nd, 2019. Just want to update you all with the insurance agency that I'm going with. Currently right now on the CRV and my Prelude, I am insured with State Farm. They've been awesome, very reputable company. Um, they gave me the best rates and my agent is super cool. So with the new car, I will be insuring it under classic insurance if it qualifies. Um, when I get the car tomorrow, my agent told me to take pictures of the whole 360 of the car, the odometer, all the interior, and the engine bay. And if everything is in immaculate or great condition, and I meet all the guidelines, the car will um, be classified under classic insurance which will put me at about 24 to $27 a month, which is outstanding. But if the car does qualify for the classical car insurance program, I am only allowed to drive the new car less than 3,000 miles a year, which I had it on the Prelude for like nine months before I went over the 3,000 mile limit. But this time for the new car, I gotta commit and I if I would have known that my insurance was going to be so cheap, I would have went with a, another option. But it is all good. I'm incredibly stoked. I did check out Haggerty and Grundy. I don't recommend Grundy. And American Classic Insurance. 
um, for their insurance, I was quoted between $164 to $175 a month, which doesn't really fly for me, but let's be honest, I'd rather pay like $30 bucks opposed to $175 because that means more parts coming in faster with each paycheck. So again, incredibly stoked. Um, like I mentioned in the last clip, the car, the bill of landing says it should be here the 23rd, which is tomorrow, Saturday. I don't know what time, but I'm going to be getting up early and just prepping my garage. I'm gonna move the red prelude out and just get it all nice and clean for the new car. And then do some work on my raspberry prelude and then wait for the contractor to get here. We'll unload, we'll document the whole process, all that fun stuff. I got Ben coming over tomorrow to take pictures. And then from there, we'll play the rest by ear. So I'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow with the delivery of the car. What's going on everybody? It is Monday, November 25th, 2019. Here again for another update. Sorry, I look like death. I just worked another 11 hour shift. These holidays are killer. Just wanna update you guys that I just received the title here. Don't wanna to focus too much on it because you'll figure out the car. Also, RHC Specialties sent me some cool die cuts, some cool flyers, an air freshener, haven't opened that up yet. And also, this super sick flight tag. Thank you so much, RHC Specialties team. I'm glad to be part of the family. And what also came in is my we are likewise um the daytona shift shift knob for the car it feels great guys like seriously look at this i know it's kind of inverted on the camera but oh my god this thing is sick and also got a cool what they used to call a disco biscuit they now just call it a adapter in um tiffany blue they call it tiffany and ho hilarious but got some bad news Bad news that hopefully will be solved soon. So the truck driver didn't give Nick, the manager, the bill of landing. So meaning that this driver has poor communication skills and isn't updating them and or me about the location of him and my car. So at the moment it's kind of lost. I don't want to say that my anxiety is like through the roof right now but the RHC specialties team is going to get his the driver's number as soon as possible and then give him a quick call see where he's at and then hopefully contact me it's been about i want to say six days now when the trip is only three days but i don't know if the driver's just taking his time with the car or if he just took a bad route from Washington to Arizona because there's two routes you can take. You can take a route that goes through the states of Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Nevada to Arizona, or you can take the West Coast, which will just cut through Oregon and all of California to Arizona. I don't know what route he took. They don't know either, but we're trying to get this figured out as soon as possible because my anxiety is killing me as well as they are worried too, but they're gonna get it figured out and I'm gonna update you guys later. So, got my fingers crossed and my prayers up that I get this car at least tomorrow. Until then guys, I will catch you with the next update. What is good everybody? Coming back with the final update and I hopefully mean final update. Just got a call from Car Haulers a couple of hours ago saying that they will be delivering the car um after 5 p.m it is currently 507 on the dot Ugh, excitement is building up i left to work early for this sorry to my team i know today was actually the busiest day of the year and i just dipped but i did a lot for them but oh incredibly stoked guys i've been waiting two weeks now for this car and it's just been killing me the anticipation my anxiety has settled now that i know that the car is found and that it is now in Arizona. So hopefully it doesn't show up like midnight because it's pretty cold out right now. So incredibly stoked. And I know this whole majority of this video is just me updating, just again, documenting the process. And I appreciate all of you that have stuck around to this point. But if you went ahead and skipped ahead to the end, 
it is all good as long as you click those ads. <laughs> Just kidding. But at the moment, I am going to be repositioning the Prelude. I gotta move the other daily. I got the other cars on the street. I don't know what way they will be coming in to load out the car. Potentially going to do a nice mop in the area where the car will be going to. Gotta make her feel like home and her new home in Tucson, Arizona. Oh, guys, you have no idea my excitement right now. But thank you, everybody, again so much for all the support. So I'm probably going to, after this clip, I'm not going to film the car coming up the trailer because then I'm giving away the surprise. So I'll probably just pan back to me like how it is now and say, this is my new car. Do some sick cinematics. And then after the cinematics, I'll go ahead and cut in the unloading part of the car and just kind of do like a brief overview on the car because on a separate video i want to go in depth on why i bought this car my future plans for this car and i'll probably detail it i am off tomorrow too today is tuesday the 26th yeah guys incredibly stuff so we'll see you at the next clip what's up so the car is almost here the contractor said he's about six minutes away. I got Warren here somewhere in the distance. Yahoo! What's up? Um, contractor said if we can meet him like down my street, what, whatever is easier for him to maneuver the 18-wheeler is what he emphasized and then an easy way for him to get out. So we're gonna take Warren's truck, potentially, maybe, I don't even know where he's at. We'll meet him somewhere down my neighborhood and then show the car in the garage. You can't see, but there it is. Oh my God, guys, I'm literally looking at it right now. Holy shit. This is insane, dude. It's really dirty, but it's super clean. Oh my God, dude, I wish I can show you guys. Oh my God. Some of you, most of you guessed it. This is my 1990 Nissan Skyline R32 GTST Type M. In another video, I'll go over the reasons why I chose the four door GTST over the GTR. Holy shit, I'm already at $50 right now. Pumping gas in it. Um, the cable to the gas door is, I think, stretched, so we have to get it from the inside here through the door, which is an easy fix. Um, somebody said they can help me out. But honestly guys, this car exterior wise is a eight out of 10. It's cleaner than most cars they imported, but remember this car is 30 years old. I don't wanna go too in depth, but this tail light's a little bit cracked. Body is completely straight with no dents or deep scratches. Gonna need a new um, weather guard as well as like sealant up here. Is that cracked? Oh, that's broken off. Might end up just taking this off to be completely honest. The wheels are R33 GTR wheels. And they are curbed, but tires are good. These are 17 by nine plus 33. This gives me a good idea on what uh, fitment I can run. But again, paint and body are super clean. It does need a lot of love. It definitely needs a paint correction. There's so many swirls and light scratches on the hood and everywhere. But the corner markers are good, tail lights, headlights are good, no badging. There is a weird, weird scuff here on this tail, this corner marker here, but I do plan on switching these to the smoke indicators from Japan. Brakes are good, I am going to change out the rotors and pads, as well as clean up the wheel wells nicely. But overall guys, I'm very content with this purchase and I'll go more in depth in another video. We are back home everybody. Oh, this is so unreal. The progress I've made so far up to this point in my life, I can't be any more grateful. Again, thank you all so very much for all of your continuous love 
and support. You guys rock. So like I mentioned, I will be making a separate video going in depth on why I chose a four-door Skyline GTST opposed to the GTR, which was the overall car I wanted to obtain from this purchase. Again, go into full details about that. Um, overlooking the car, it's definitely some things I need to do right away other than emissions and registering it. One, definitely needs a paint correction from your boy. Um, two, definitely going to have to buy some new rotors and pads. Um, probably just go with some ceramics or the best that I can buy for this car. Some tabs missing for the hood liner. Um, that shouldn't be hopefully too hard. Definitely need to get new rain guards because on the driver passenger side, on the left hand side of the car, um, about a quarter of it here is cracked. So I'll end up just going to take these off and clean all the gunk. This tail light here is cracked. I don't know how or when that happened. So I have to search for that tail light, which shouldn't be too hard. It's not painted or anything, so finding it shouldn't be a problem. But other than that, besides brake pads and rotors, I do want to get a new battery as well. It is a gel powered battery from Japan, some tiny Panasonic battery. I will, I want to update, upgrade to the Optima Red Top. I have to see what works and what doesn't. But to be completely honest, for a 30 year old car, this Skyline is in mint condition. From all the other Skylines I've seen that have been imported by my friends and followers, and from what I've been told so far through social media, this is actually a really clean Skyline for its age. Remember, 1990, it's 2019 right now. So I guess it's like 29 years old. It'll be 30 years old soon, but oh, I'm just so stoked, guys. This is the main focus for next year. Prelude is definitely happening first, so majority of my hard work spending money is going towards the Prelude. I'm just going to be knocking out the maintenance right now on the Skyline, what I mentioned before. And I will do a like legit first mod, just don't know what to do first. Engine wise, I don't know if I will want to go ahead and buy the new um, Apexi air filter cones or the HKS mushroom cone that looks really sick. Or just go ahead and jump in with the exhaust, full, um, full exhaust, downpipe and cap back. I'm still researching this motor and this chassis. So any of you Skyline dudes out there want to help me out, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. But like I said guys, a lot of content comes from this channel. I bought this car more for a um, birthday present to myself for all my hard work. And I also purchased this car because I am very serious about um, expanding my career with YouTube. And if I blow up, I blow up. And now it's all because of you. Thank you so much. But I'm just in shock right now. Oh yeah, I did do a couple of mods already before I end the clip. First of all, we got the Aim High Drive Low Social Outcast collab flight tag. Second, we have the Broadway 300 millimeter convex um, rear view mirror. I'm still getting used to being on this side and how it's inverted more to the right. And then I just installed my We Are Likewise Daytona weighted shift knob, which is awesome. I honestly took me like 10 minutes to figure out how to take the shift knob off because when I was twisting it, it wouldn't come off. So I ended up taking the whole center console out when, again, this car is 30 years old. It was just plastic stuck between the threads. Got it loose, got it all cleaned up and got this guy on and it feels so nice guys and this transmission shifts so smooth I cannot wait and I was thinking about getting a short shifter but I kind of like the um, throw it has right now and definitely looking into that's awesome dude that works definitely looking into a new steering wheel I am going to be doing the quick release setup trying to figure out how to lower this steering column here I am going to go with the Vertex steering wheel that I can share with the Prelude and the Skyline. 
So that's why I'm selling some extra parts so I can obtain those. And again, guys, thank you so much for your continuous love and support through the channel, through social media, all my friends and family that have supported me as an individual. You guys truly mean the world to me. Thank you so much. But this video has gone on long enough. And thank you all to those who stuck to the end. And thank you all who skipped it, but just wanted to see what the car was. You guys are awesome. But other than that, guys, be safe out there. And always remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch you next video. Take care.